everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I have my November favorites to show you, and shortly after this video, I'm gonna be doing my December favorites soon. I think I'm gonna be combining it into a 2012 favorites, because there's been so many great products this year, some favorites that I'll definitely be bringing into the new year and um, absolutely wanna show you. But my first favorite that I wanna show you for November is a bracelet, and I got it when I was out in LA at Express, and it is a gold chain link bracelet. This is the Express Status Link bracelet, and I've been loving to wear this with my Michael Kors watch. It's just a really pretty um, accessory to link and pair with it. But also if you want to do that stacked effect of tons of bracelets, that's been really in. I got this for $24.90 at Express, and it's just a really perfect uh, gift and a perfect accessory. Um, would make a perfect gift for any gold jewelry wearing um, lover out there. So I've been loving this so much. My next favorite I really, really could not wait to get my hands on, and I was so lucky to. It is the NARS Joy de Verve. Joy de Vev, Joy de Vev. I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to write it down below and you can tell me how to say it. But it is the NARS Oversized Anniversary Cheek Palette that was an exclusive at Nordstrom's. I wanted this for so long and I was so happy to get my hands on it this past summer for NARS's anniversary sale. This NARS Cheek Palette comes with six popular NARS shades and it has the NARS Plastic. Um, that I've just been keeping because I think it looks good and it does protect um, the actual blushes but inside it comes with six NARS bestsellers. I just love the texture of NARS blush too. They just like blend really easy and they layer really easy as well and they have some really really great great blushes. One of the most popular bronzers out there is, the, is NARS's Laguna Bronzer. Comes with that. Comes with their highlighter Albatross. And it comes with four popular NARS blushes. Comes with Orgasm, Gaietti, Angelica and Luster. And um, here are the four are right here. And they're just the perfect size too. And I just love the packaging for this. It's big mirror inside and um, I was so excited to get my hands on this. I've just been getting great use out of this and, and I find myself reaching for it all the time. This is the NARS cheek palette that was an exclusive at Nordstrom. Next favorite from the month I've talked about before but I'm gonna need a new one soon because I've been reaching for it but use it all the time. It is NARS's Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl and as you can see it's getting really really small and I definitely need to sharpen this. This is just one of my all-time favorite lip products and you'll probably be seeing this again in my 2012 favorites because I just love it. It's just an extremely intense, vibrant cherry red. It's it's sort of bright as well. Um, and I love the end. You could see what the color looks like. And here it is swatched for you. And it's just so, so beautiful. I love the pencil as well. It gives like the perfection, precision of a lip pencil, but it coats just like a lipstick. It's very opaque and creamy. Um, it's not drying like other matte lip pencils. And it's so long wearing, super long wearing, like lasts all day long, um, lasts through eating, lasts through drinking, um, and so easy to just reapply. And I love wearing this all year long, but especially this time of year. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Dragon Girl. And I've said before that holiday time, Christmas time, Bath & Body Works comes out with the best scents, like my favorite scents. And one that I've been absolutely loving is the Vanilla Bean Noel. It just smells so good, and I just love the scent of vanilla. There's something about this specific specific vanilla that it's like so fresh and so just rich and I love it so much and um and I love when this time of year comes back because that means vanilla bean noel is back and um all the other bath and body works holiday scents are back so this has just been absolutely one of my favorites one of my favorite drugstore favorites from the month from November is a mascara and it's just one of the classic mascaras um one of the most known mascaras um from Maybelline and it is the great Lash, and this is the big brush um, in blackest black and this has been around forever but they just you they just recently revamped their brush and this is the big brush you used to have um, a smaller brush that it came with and I like the formula on this it doesn't dry right away and just settle right away it allows to be buildable and allows great volume like I get great great volume with this I think also probably because of that new brush um, I just, I love this. It, it is really, really, really big compared to the other one. The original, if you have, you'll know the difference. But um, love this so much. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Big Mascara in Blackest Black. 
Another product that I've been loving, I learned about from my friend Alicia Monica, and um, the, just the way that she talked about this, I wanted to find it and just smell it for myself. It's the Johnson's Body Care Melt Away Stressed Lavender and Chamomile Lotion. And is this discontinued? I went to just like go Google about it to find out like where the best place to find this is. You can get it at drugstores or Walmart or Target or wherever, but it says discontinued. I've been reading articles about it that it's discontinued, and that is so unfortunate because yes Johnson's and Johnson's it's um, just soft and soothing for the skin but there's something about this scent the melt away stress the lavender chamomile that really does its job it's like the perfect lotion to put on before you go to bed it really does put you at ease and um, it says helps you unwind and feel at ease okay so um, it does just that but is it discontinued I hope not so if you know um, if this is discontinued but um, where to get a lot of this let me know it's just a really relaxing lotion you know they say it just calms your senses and you and um, just re helps relax and it really does do that but the smell is just so pretty and um, I like that it's not greasy it just really soaks into the skin well and I love this but I hope this is not discontinued because it's wonderful and it shouldn't be um, and it smells so good so if you could get your hands on this just to smell it definitely try this out this is a great lotion this is the Johnson's melt away stress lavender and chamomile lotion. A next favor I was so excited to receive in my October birch box. I wanted this for so long because I heard so many great things and I'm so excited to get this sample. It is the Mary Lou Manizer, the Luminizer Highlighter from The Balm. And this looks like a really tiny sample and it is, but a little bit goes a long way. I have not even dented this yet and I use this almost every day. The regular full size product, I know people say that like you can use it in a lifetime because it doesn't you know you have to use such little product to get the beautiful effect of the product that you don't need a lot so you're not wasting product it gives just a beautiful shimmery glow I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now it's so soft and shimmery and has like champagne and golden undertones and what I love that it's not glittery it's not too heavy it's not like a shimmery highlighter um, so I I literally just dab my finger on this once and this is what you get out of it. it gives just the perfect glowy sheen this would be beautiful on all skin tones and all you need is a small amount just perfect for the corners of your eyes perfect for under your brow perfect for your cheeks um, down your nose just anywhere you're looking for a highlight so I've been loving this so much this is the Mary Luminizer um, the luminizer highlighter from the balm and um, definitely when I get when I get done with this I'll get another one but this is going to take me a long time because I've been dabbing into this and um, you know haven't made a mark so love this one and my favorite brush to use to apply the luminizer highlighter is from Sedona lace and this is their jumbo fan brush and it is huge can you like it's bigger than my hand um, but I saw this brush and needed to get this I got this in one of their full sets from Sedona lace that I purchased um, but you could buy this individually on their website for $12.95 it is the jumbo fan brush the FB01 you can can use this with loose powder to put under your eyes to catch any eyeshadow fallout it's also a great brush to use to set your foundation with any powder it just sweeps onto the skin so beautifully and so effortlessly I like to use it on an angle um, as a highlighting brush so as you can see I would take it just dab right into the product and sweep right under the eye for that perfect Highly, it fits on the cheekbone perfectly. It's so super soft. You can also use this for any blush or bronzer. It would fit into your cheekbone so nicely for any contouring of a bronzer. Or you can use this as a full body brush if you're applying any shimmer just to sweep all over your body. There's a perfect brush. Um, I think everybody needs to have a fan brush because it's so multi-purpose and you can use it for whatever you want. This is from Sedona Lace and is the FB01 Jumbo Fan Brush. A blush that I've been loving from the drugstore is from Milani. It's the Milani Minerals blush in the shade Sweet Rose. This is just one of my favorite drugstore blushes. It is so pretty. Um, the color inside 
is just really, really nice and natural. Sweet Rose is a cool pink with a little bit of lilac inside. This is gorgeous for all skin tones and all year round. And you lift this up and it comes with a little brush inside that as you can see I have not even used. Um, and this little mirror. But it's just really, really cute packaging. And this is only $6.50. So you're getting the brush, the mirror, and this really great product um, all together. I think is a wonderful value. Just one of those blushes that really looks pretty if you're doing like a not a lot of makeup day or if you are going to glam it up would be beautiful as well. Loving Sweet Rose from Milani. One of my favorite gloss MAC products is their Cream Sheen. Uh, the Cream Sheen glasses, the formula is just amazing and they're super pigmented. And I've been loving for this time of year the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Narcissus. And this color is just beautiful. Narcissus is like a magenta purple. Um, it's very, very creamy. The cream sheens are just, they're just one of my favorite lip products from MAC because they just glide on the lips so smooth and last really long. This is it right next to Dragon Girl. This is Narcissus. Just love the uh, magenta purple color to it. Perfect for this time of year. Purple lips are really crazy in right now. Um, and I've just been loving this for a beautiful um, little purple glow to your lips. This is Max Cream Sheen Glass in Narcissus. Another really great MAC product that I don't even think I've talked about yet, but I use all the time. This is the MAC Prep and Prime, their skin base visage. And I just want to read to you MAC's description of this um, to get a better idea of what this does. MAC says it's an ultra fluid lotion formulated with special effects silicones, calms and soothes the skin, blots away excess oil, and evens out skin's redness, approves lay down and application of foundation or powder. This leaves my skin so soft and so hydrated before any foundation. If I'm going to do a light foundation, if I'm going to do a light coverage, something like a BB cream, I love to just even out my skin tone and just hydrate it before the BB cream. Or if I'm going to do something heavy like a Makeup Forever HD foundation or like a MAC Studio Fix, this just gives extra hydration before the foundation. I have a lot of redness in my skin as well, so this really just neutralizes um, before the foundation. Even on a day that you want to wear no makeup, makeup and just have a hydrated look and even just wearing this on, on its own gives your skin such radiance and makes your skin look so healthy. You will like this if you have visible pores or fine lines or any uneven skin tone. It really just um, works out any of those issues. Wearing this before your foundation just makes your makeup so easy to blend and makes your foundation stay on so long. It's a great product if you have oily skin. Um, it just really will control and conceal that oil. And all I do is use about like two pumps comes with this little pump um, I use about two on my entire face and um, also need new of this pretty soon but this is just a great everyday wear as well this is the Mac prep and prime skin base Visage. A favorite lipstick for MAC for this time of year is MAC's Diva. Diva is a intense burgundy color with like some red undertones in it. It is a matte finish. Oh, even just swatching it, it makes me so excited because it is so beautiful. Here is Diva. It just adds like glamour and drama to any look you wear. It's so super gorgeous. It's a deep, dark, rich, matte color and I just love it for this time of year. Um, this is Max Diva and it is like so super strong and um, just one of those colors that might be too dark for you you think but if you're sort of interested and willing to give this a try I would definitely go for it. Loving Max matte lipstick in Diva. Some polish picks that I've been absolutely loving for November from Essie, brand new for their winter collection, the leading lady, is Butler Please. And Butler Please is just a gorgeous, creamy cobalt blue. Um, layers perfectly just with one coat, but two is awesome. Um, and it's just a really gorgeous winter blue. I've been loving this, and I've talked about this before. You've heard me talk about this before. But it is so beautiful. I'm so excited that this was um, a new release from MAC. And uh, so super pretty. This is Essie's butler please one of my new favorites brand new from opi's james bond is tomorrow never dies and tomorrow never dies is a glowy balloon toned purple shimmer it is just gorgeous and i've worn this before and talked about this before um, it is purple in the bottle to you it may look blue when you wear it on your nails it photographs just blue but um seeing it in real life it is so beautiful as a 
gorgeous purple shimmer to it and just so glowy and beautiful. This is OPI's Tomorrow Never Dies. Another favorite is from OPI's Germany, OPI's Susie and the Seven Dusseldorfs. Just a gorgeous shimmer royal purple, really beautiful winter color um, and been loving so much. I just love the formula on these OPI's. They're really beautiful um, and just a nice um, elegant purple, nice uh, elegant shimmery purple. Uh, this is Susie and the seven Dusseldorfs. And that's it. Those are my November favorites. If you haven't done so already, please go up top and hit subscribe. Down below, I have the links to my Facebook and my Twitter, my Pinterest and my Instagram. And I would love to see you on Instagram because I am posting daily pictures all the time of just some of my favorite things and favorite sites that are in front of me. And um, yeah, I just love me some Instagram. Hope you guys are having a great December and Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And I'll see you soon. Bye.